What's up, you two? Steve at the Whiskey Watch, next to my good buddy, Sniff. Sniff from Scotch and Sniff? Is that it? All right, so... Oh. Oh, my name is Literal now. Yeah. Interesting. Yes, literally <laughs> sniffing. So today, we haven't done one of these in a little while, in a long while. Uh, today, we're going to do a Cadillac review, or Lamborghini Huracan review, or Ferrari, uh, Ferrari, uh, Ferrari La Ferrari review. Maserati. Oh, Maserati's new SUV. No. Actually, actually, not bad. Okay. For $170,000, I don't have it. I could buy another house. I'd rather have more of these. <laughs> this is only funny because it's thought, true. Yes. All right, so today we're doing another basically just like high-end whiskey review because these are fun and we like to do them. Um, I guess I should be clear where this bottle came from. I, I bought it. <laughs> I bought it myself. Good for you. Yeah, <laughs> no, I bought it for my uh, birthday last year. <laughs> I bought a couple of bottles for my birthday last year that I thought would be fun to like throw together for a party and it's a good they time. Were. They were. Yeah, you were there. Yeah, they were. So yeah, so um so we're just gonna talk about the three bottles that I bought last year and just um give honest reviews on them because these are bottles that a lot of people don't get a chance to try, especially at tastings. Like you can go to a Balvenie tasting and try the 21 Portwood. Um but you Fabulous, I haven't been to any tastings where they do the new 25. No single barrel or double wood. And I ha definitely never been in tastings where they do the 30. I'm sure they exist, but not in the realm that we live in. Right. So um, so I decided to buy the Balvenie 30 uh, just so we can date this video. I picked it up for 600 bucks, which was a really good deal at the time. It seems like they've gone up quite a bit, but- uh, As have they all. Let's go ahead and dig oh, into it. Yeah, all the whiskey's gotten it. expensive. Every whiskey will be luxury whiskey in like 10 minutes from now. <laughs> or is it not a luxury whiskey? Compass box? Is that you? <laughs> the voice inside I, my I head. I get that classic <laughs> Malveni honey right off the like right off the bat. Heather honey. Yeah, mm -hmm. Heather it, honey. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Like that's one thing I love about Malveni is their consistency. Like, thank you, David Stewart. I'll be if honest. You, I had if you guys a... haven't seen that, I'm gonna do a total YouTuber thing. I'm gonna post a link to the David Stewart interview that I did. Where? Is it gonna be right here? I don't know right where it's here. gonna be. We right can put here. it wherever Steve points. But put basically, right in front uh, of my face. did a fun interview with David Stewart where I'm... Uh, actually, I'm going to put it in front, of, in front of his face. It would be hilarious. I did an interview with David Stewart, and we got to sit down and try the Balvini 50-year Cask 191. That was a random opportunity, and it was wild. Mm. Took advantage of it, made video, and thought it was awesome. So you guys can watch that, too, if you'd like. Yeah, it was, Obviously, if you're into high-end whiskeys. It was three and a half out of four stars. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Video-wise, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Video-wise, it was four out of four. Uh, Host-wise, it was, hard it was two out of... Two out one, of eight. One and a half Two out, out of ten. Eight. Oh, man. This... So All right, let's, I'm digging you, in. Yeah, you're, you're right. Like, Balvenie across the board, like, you get... You know it's Balvenie when you try it. All right, so you... Yes. Whole lots of yes. And I know, classically, you're supposed to hold whiskey in your mouth one second for every year. So it should have been 30 seconds, for a while. but I, I, I just, I have to tell you about it. What's the ABV so on this guy? You definitely get their honey notes, 46, 47.3 40, for a 30 year old. You get their, you get those delicious honey notes that you normally get, but I'm telling you, they use quite a bit of sherry in this. So you get beautiful, beautiful spice to it. And it's not like, not crazy spice. It's just enough. Um, the back of the bottle says a little bit of chocolate, but I'm not getting that. I get more like perfect, perfectly malted barley. I love barley nuts though. That's a whole different issue. Oh I, my goodness. I am getting a little bit of the chocolate. I do get marzipan though. Mm. That's legit. Yeah. It's a little bit. So if you guys like dark chocolate raisins, that's a little bit. Dark where chocolate. I get now that you're mentioning it. Dark chocolate. Ra dark chocolate covered raisins. Oh, I wish that was. Is that a thing? Somebody uh, makes. Yeah. Somebody makes those. Somebody makes those. Man, that sounds good right now. I've had them before. That sounds really good. Yeah, but that's what I, that's what this reminds me of, but with a little bit of honey. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's so, enjoyable. It, it's it is so enjoyable. good. If you <sighs> see it somewhere and you have a chance yeah, to try it, maybe you, at a bar or something like that. Absolutely. If you have the chance to drop some coin on this for sure. Uh, I was going to tell you anything interesting mm -hmm. that it says on the back. What about the side? But uh, does it say like just right, on the side? Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, great depth with rich chocolate, hints of plum. I get plum, yes, but I don't get the, as much dark chocolate huh. without you saying it. Marzipan, which is just almond paste. If you guys have never tried marzipan, give it a shot. It's maybe, really, Marzipan's really delicious. Maybe it's a chocolate covered prune. Caramelized pear. Caramelized pear. Maybe that's Chocolate the, prune would make sense. That's yeah. in the same family of flavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, gent gentle spice and lingering sweetness. Yep. It's definitely, oh my what goodness. Say here? High level of craftsmanship. Yeah, I'll say the the lettering on the sides of these bottles does get a little harder to read as the night goes on. 
<laughs> just something to watch out for. Bring a bring a little <clears throat> like microscope. But or, yeah, you know. as you can see from this bottle, like I've obviously been enjoying it. It is absolutely delicious. Um, it's to me, it's one of those once in a lifetime things. Like if you have a chance and you have the money to drop on it, um, do it once. You know, absolutely. Would I love to get a second bottle? Of course. But um, would I love to try another bottle of something else in the future too? Yeah, that too. Yeah. But this is definitely, definitely. I don't know what other way to describe it. It's just so stinking good. It's it is fantastic whiskey. If you get the chance to try it, please do. Um, you probably won't get any samples off this bottle because I think um, Mr. Sniff here will be drinking this in the wings after this show. Yeah, I'll definitely kill this bottle. <laughs> yeah, possibly today, maybe going into tonight. <laughs> but if you get the chance, do yourself a favor, or, or actually, you might be doing yourself a disservice because after you taste this, you're not going to oh, want to drink any of the whiskey. Yeah, it'll ruin a lot of other things. It for could you. ruin, yeah. But you should try. Absolutely, give it a shot. So, um, have you tried this? Uh, did you try it at above any tasting if you did? Otherwise, uh, leave us a comment below and let us know if you've tried it, because I'm always curious about um, how other people try high-end whiskeys, because everybody's got a different story for that. Uh, so yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Steve, where can everybody find you? Um, the Whiskey Watch on the Instagram. Yep. Oh, yes, right, it actually says right on here box. on my branded glass <laughs> with the Lego figure on the front. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, and then uh, like, comment, subscribe, tip jar on Patreon if you guys want to do that. Thank you. Shout out to Mike, I think, is the one person who's been tipping on the tip jar. Thank you so much. There might be two people. Good but, job, Mike. Yeah, um, but, like, thank you so much. And then, um, yeah, that's it. I got nothing else to say about this. It's freaking delicious. We might have to share with the camera guy after Absolutely. We're done look he's, at look at him nodding. He's starting to salivate in the background <laughs> and it's starting to get uncomfortable. It's all over his shirt. It's, yes, it's it's, it's weird to watch from yeah, here. It's, we're, we're gonna we'll probably have to cut this in like five, <laughs> four, three, two.